Hello, so today I thought I would try to offer some reflections on a fairly fundamental question if you start taking an interest in cross-dreaming and cross-dressing and the trans world, and that is, what is drag? And I don't think I'm going to be able to provide a satisfactory answer because I don't think there is um, a universally accepted definition. For some people, drag tends to refer to cross-dressing in general, uh, be that for performance, uh, for parody, um, or for those of us that have gender dysphoria. For others, it tends to be about caricature, so taking on a larger-than-life identity. That means, for example, that um, a woman can be a drag queen, can have a drag persona, um, it isn't necessarily about dressing in the clothes of the opposite gender, of a, what traditionally uh, identified as the, the opposite gender. Uh, and even there, when we start talking about gender, as you know, I, I talk about a spectrum. So dress gets a bit uh, um, mixed and merged all around the middle there in terms of how we present ourselves. So it can be a sort of umbrella term, um, or it can be something that uh, in particular context has a particular meaning. When we talk about drag kings, but particularly drag queens, I suppose, is the one that I am um, really relating to here. Um, again, as a performance, that can cover uh, a very wide variety of expressions. It can be the deliberately over-the-top caricature, the larger-than-life, not meant in any any way to um, be convincing, to actually be authentic in, in portraying a, a woman. Or it can be the opposite. It can be the, some kind of the female illusionist or the female impersonator who does really play with illusion and that's the point in their performance it's about uh, shocking perhaps or causing intrigue and confusion with the audience causing you know arousing them to to awe at the magic of this illusion and there are lots of different expressions of drag in performance not only the the drag the drag queens who may be lip-syncing, they may be impersonating, uh, they may be um, offering stand-up comedy, um, really many different ways of, of expressing, um, expressing their art. Um, or we might look to films and theatre where sometimes drag is used um, for all sorts of reasons, really. It might might be that the character is deliberately trying to um, disguise themselves, to be authentic, um, or it may be for comedy, um, or a whole variety of other roles that may be played in theatre and cinema. Are they all drag? Well, probably they, if we're using the umbrella term, they, they'd often be described that way. I myself don't tend to describe what I do as drag because I do identify very much on the trans spectrum, on, on this very broad um, spectrum, this gender fluid life, as I call this channel. Some of what I put up as Transformation Tuesdays are kind of performance. They are in that fun area. They are impersonation. So I guess they would fall under the drag category as I tend to define it. But when I am expressing myself, especially as Chloe rather than Anya, my authentic self, that is really just a just an end, means to an end, uh, really, the, the dress to allow me to feel um, that I'm being open, allowing myself a platform to express that feminine side. And, and that doesn't seem to fit under the category of drag at all for me. It's certainly about identity, and uh, expressing feeling as opposed to being about primarily about looks and performance in, in that case. And 
as we've said, as, as I've said in other reflections here, there's a difference between gender identity and sexual orientation. Um, and gender itself is quite, quite, uh, quite confusing, I think. We're trying to construct something. We're trying to portray ourselves in a way that we want to be acknowledged and seen by the world or in terms of how we want to allow our own feelings to arise. So even the colours that we wear uh, can play quite a part, as we know, in how we feel about ourselves. That's all part of gender, I think. It's quite a, a broad term. Drag, I think, goes beyond that when we're looking at these sort of over-the-top uh, portrayals, especially. It's not um, necessarily about tuning into how you want to feel. It can be, I guess, <laughs> for those that uh, want to be up on stage and showing off and so on uh, and getting into this character. But often it's not going to be about identity. It's interesting too, and I don't know the answer to this, that most people, I, as, as I understand it, who identify uh, on the trans spectrum or would say they have gender dysphoria, um, are not especially tuned in to watching RuPaul's Drag Race, for example. Uh, wonderful show, though that may be. I'm, I'm not uh, particularly tuned into it. I, I occasionally pick up on, on odd, odd snippets, and it, it can be fun and amusing as a, as a reality program to, to, to watch, but it's not something I particularly um, identify with, shall, shall we say. I get the impression that many of the drag queens themselves, or in terms of their sexual orientation, are either gay or heterosexual, which is rather interesting. Um, and drag queen culture seems to be particularly popular in the mainstream, of course, but amongst gay people. Whereas, uh, as we've said before in other reflections, trans people, again, this is a generalization, aren't in the main gay in terms of their orientation. So not quite sure what's going on there. Uh, I'm sure others will understand this much more clearly than I do. But I wonder if at one level we are all drag artists. <laughs> I think it was RuPaul who said that we're all born naked, the rest is drag. In other words, the clothes we put on, the masks we wear, these presentations we put out to the world to make ourselves be seen as serious or playful or however we want to present in different situations and with different people is, if you like, a form of drag, a form of pretense. And there's that other related famous uh, saying of Shakespeare that we might mention here, all the world's a stage. This idea that we are playing psychological games. Uh, we are playing a role. We create narratives for ourselves. So maybe that's a thought. Maybe it doesn't really matter whether we can arrive at a universal definition for what drag is. It's going to depend on the context uh, that the word is used, what it, what it means. But maybe we are all drag kings or drag queens. <laughs>